Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations. Happy Friday everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic day and that your weekend's gonna be a fun one and, and really good. We've got a little bit of rain in our forecast but a cool front coming on Sunday so that'll be nice. Anyways, I'm here because I went on a little haul, oh, not a haul, but I went shopping and have a little haul for you that I um, went to the at-home store and I went to Michael's. Now, I went specifically for a pitcher um, for my hutch, which I couldn't find, but I did buy a cup of few bowls and some coffee cups in white because I really want to put some white stuff in there. And I had recently, or not recently, but a while back, watched uh, Shannon with the Daily DIYer did um, a video on how she made her white bowls that she picked up at the dollar store look like Ray Dunn pieces because she used her um, silhouette cameo to cut out some stencils and then she you know used a paint pen to paint on the, the letters so I thought maybe I'll try that well I did do a stencil and then I was gonna use a paint pen but I thought oh I'm afraid it's gonna bleed so I ended up using vinyl on mine but it doesn't really matter because I'm not gonna use these I just want them for display so for reference sake I wanted to show you this is an actual Ray Dunn piece it's um, a dog bowl that I picked up and if you'll notice the the word here woof how close together the the letters are and of course they're very skinny you know skinny lines this is an actual Ray Dunn piece you can see her name on the back well I want you to look at my cups I made and see if you don't think they look pretty darn good considering they are not at, ooh, authentic <laughs> here's one I made it's called grace and if you look at the woof they look fairly similar so I did a uh, grace I did one with blessed I did one with faith and I did one with love and I think they came out pretty good um, on this one, the faith one, I probably could have got the letters a little closer together. See how they're a little too much separated, so I may redo this one. But for the most part, I thought they came out pretty close to looking like, um, you know, the actual Ray Dunn, but didn't cost me an arm and a leg like they do. But I thought they came out super cute. This is the blessed. And these I've got closer together, but they could probably even be more smooshed together, but I'm probably not going to mess with it. But I really ha like how they came out. Now these cups are fairly good size. They're not um, the same size as the regular Ray Dunn stuff, but I liked them. And the coloring is pretty darn close because um, this is a very creamy color on this. And this is a little bit lighter, but it's still a creamy color. It's not a white. Anyways, I'm excited that I was able to do this. And then I want to do my bowls too. I picked up three bowls and they're pretty deep bowls. All the, I was going to tell you, all this stuff was $3.99, the, the coffee cups and um, the bowls at the at-home. And I'm going to put on here um, some stencils as well, or, you know, some vinyl to uh, look like Ray Dunn. Anyways, that's, that was a fun project, and um, now I need to get some more of the flat black vinyl so I can finish up the bowls. And I think it's going to look cute in my hutch. I'm excited about it. Okay, so when I went to at home, I also wanted to pick up um, some stuff for my wreath I'm working on. So I was really looking for some flowers. I was kind of disappointed they didn't have, I mean, they had flowers, um, but not exactly what I was looking for in the actual, like, uh, silk flowers. So, but I did pick up some of these. These are... Um, burlap flowers and they're poinsettias and they have little bells in them they actually have um, I don't know if you can tell they have a, a hook on the back can you see that yeah they have a hook so I can just hook it on and then take them off if I want to change out my wreath but I got two in the burlap color and then I picked up three in this pretty red and they're super pretty and I think they're gonna look fabulous on the wreath. So I got those. Then I couldn't pass up these. These are cute, these little um, 
candy canes. <laughs> oh, and I'm sorry. These these were a dollar ninety nine a piece. These are one ninety nine a piece. These little um, candy canes, and I thought they'd look cute. And I think, you know, they don't exactly match the red on the poinsettias, but they'll be close enough. And with the burlap and everything, I think they'd be fine on the wreath. Then there was this one that just has this little stuff on it. And of course, the ribbon I bought does have some black, and this does have some black writing on it. So I thought they would pick up um, on it. And this was $3.99, this one. And then I saw this, and I couldn't pass it up. I don't know if I'll use it on the wreath, but it's a little hat pick. And it was $3.99. But it might, it might work on the wreath. I'm not sure. I'll play with it sometime um, next week or over the weekend or something. I'm not sure, but um, I thought it was a cute little, little top hat, like you'd see on a snowman or something. And then the other thing I got at, at home were these, well, you can hear them before you see them. Oh, I've got them tangled, what do you know? Well, anyways, they're um, a garland with bells on them. Real rustic-y. I like them. Yeah, see, I've got them twisted. Well, anyways. Oh, I thought, you know, these would be great for, you know, if you had them laying on a shelf amongst all your Christmas stuff, you know, or you could wrap it into a garland, you know, whatever you wanted to do, but... I like um, a little bit, I like rustic. Um, I mean, I don't do my whole house. And I do two trees. I do one in my family room and one here in the great room. And um, the one in the family room is a little more rustic. And I do a kind of a, oh, I kind of Texas-y, rustic-y kind of thing. And so these will probably be good in there. Um, and then, of course, I have my Texas on my mantle here. So there's no telling. I might put them somewhere. And then I went to... Um, I went to Michael's, and there I picked up these two flowers, these two, they're li just little bunches of um, poinsettias, and these were $3.99, but they had 30% off on their Christmas, but I, you know, I have um, areas in, you know, especially in my family room where I've got, you know, little vases with um, fall flowers in them now, and I thought, you know, um, some of them I want to do some Christmas in, um, and I probably, if gonna, I'm probably going to go out and look to some more for some other flowers um, for some of my other um, little, those little bottles that I have with the, with the flowers in them, you know, the fall flowers. And um, maybe at the dollar store, I'm not sure. I'll look and see if I see anything. But I bought these for that purpose. And then I found these in the pick area and I'm just excited about this. All this, these cotton picks. I just bought three, but I'm going to open that. Look how full and pretty those are. Aren't those pretty? I like them. And I bought three of them. And these were $4.99, but they were in the Christmas, so they were 40% off. Or 30% off. But I, I like them a lot. Okay. I forget about putting that back in there. <laughs> and then I found these little um, chalkboard signs. And I thought I could do something cute on here with my chalk couture stuff. And these were 60% off uh, to, today when I was there, or yesterday when I was there. They're normally $6.99, but they were 60% off. So I bought two of them. And I thought they'd make a cute little gift, too, if I put a cute design on it. So I bought two of those. And then the only other reason I went to Michael's was really to look for some uh, washi tape and some stickers for my um, planner. I didn't end up finding any washi tape. I couldn't believe they didn't have any, like, they don't sell, like, single washi tape. It's always in packages of three or, or big packages of, like, six or eight or nine. And I just really wanted a fall one that maybe had some leaves on it or something like that. But I couldn't find any. But I did get some fall stickers. So for my planner, I got this one that's got fall leaves on it. Aren't those leaves pretty look? They got a lot of nice... Uh, color variation in them. So I got the leaves. I got this one. It has a, this is a wreath in there. And then it's got some corn here, another leaf here, some other leaves here. And then this is a little branch. That one's cute. 
And then I got this one that's just, you know, it's that kind of chip board and at Thanksgiving and you can see the rest of it, what it's got on it. So I thought those were cute for my planner. Then I got a Christmas one and this one's just um, stickers. I'm not gonna go through them all, but you know, they're just uh, Christmas stickers for my planner. And then these ones too. These are uh, more of the chips, they're, they raised up a little bit. And I thought those would be cute in my planner. And then they've got the numbers. And then there's some stickers here in the back. But anyways, that was it. That's all I um, was able to um, find in the stickers. And I didn't get any washi tape. So I think I'm going to get on Amazon and try to find me some washi tape to work on that. And um, anyways, but I wanted to uh, tell you, if you're interested in knowing how I did this, um, I definitely can do a video on showing you how I did this. It wasn't hard. Um, of course, I did use a Cricut. Um, like I said, this, this one, I think it needs to be closer together. And this one, I think, looks pretty darn good. But anyways, if you want me to do a video, tell me down in the comments, and I'd be happy to do that. Anyways, I hope you liked my little haul video today, and everybody have a fantastic weekend, and I will talk to you next week sometime. Bye.